Today, we're going to be ranking the dramatic finishes for fighters. So I've seen a little bit of these, but I've not seen a lot of the DLC ones. So here I got this little ranking system here. Hopefully I'm able to have all of them in here. It does look like a lot of them are. So we're going to be taking a look at that. So let's go ahead and start the video. We're just going to kind of break it into each section. Um, so we'll just rank one uh, at a time, basically. I think some of these do have special intros, though, but we're not going to be ranking those. Just the dramatic finishes. So we got Bardock versus Vegeta, bro. It started it all. This will change everything. Both my fate and yours. <laughs> yours. <laughs> Why do you say it like that? <laughs> Yo, Frieza's like, I don't give two shits, bro. <laughs> so damn strong. But at least he has like the nice it shows a vision. Okay, I was gonna say I think it shows a vision. Goku and Frieza has a nice little vision so he can die peacefully at least. <laughs> Into oblivion. And then I think it always shows something after, right? Okay, yeah. Damn, that looks so damn good. Okay, we'll pause it because I think it goes straight into the next one. So let's go ahead and pull this over. So this one is, let me find it. I think it's right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and say this is a B. So there's a couple of reasons that I think this is going to be a little bit lower than I traditionally would have it. Cause like, of course it starts like the whole premise of the power scaling and everything in dragon ball, but in fighters, it doesn't do it as much justice because Frieza in the first form, it just shows you how strong Frieza really is just being in his first form and being able to do something of so destructive power. But in fighters, obviously he's only in his final form. So it does take the power scaling, at least in my opinion, and kind of shift it in a way to make Bardock seem like he was like on par with final Frieza, which in this part of the story obviously was not. So I will say that I'll kind of ding it a couple of times because it's not really staying too true to it. But if I'm doing just animations and stuff like that, it's pretty simplistic. It's obviously getting the story across and it looks really phenomenal, but I know they get some pretty good ones. So we might have to restructure it a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and go B just because of the stuff that I kind of mentioned. So I think this one's Bardock versus Frieza, but Bardock wins, right? Nice little special intro. So Bardock actually recognizing Frieza. Such a cool trait. <laughs> I always thought those were cool. Just having an intro where they actually like talk to each other. I was like, oh, that was dope. <laughs> I don't remember seeing this one, honestly. Cause I know he does like the Super Saiyan as one of his special attacks. Yeah, okay, so he does turn Super Saiyan. This is dope as shit. Okay, this one might actually change everything. Yo, look at the beam. Oh, and the effect of sending Frieza to space, dude. Take him. Oh, and he uses the bandana. Okay, that's iconic. That's iconic. Hold on, that's pretty dope. Okay, so this is a little different because... This is kind of a what if, right? I've seen this what if a little bit of times, but it's kind of interesting because it does play in the whole saying pride and being like super prideful and kind of cocky in the terms of like, oh, I'm going to take this on instead. I kind of like this one. It's really cool because obviously in the initial one and the original one, he's kind of leaving it to his son to do it, but it does show a little bit more of a saying pride. But outside of that, I do think the animation is really nice. The fact that Frieza is like blown to oblivion <laughs> and sent the animation for that is really cool. Just to kind of watch him like kind of crumple up around the energy ball. I think that's super dope. So in just terms of animation as well, I think it's a little bit more superior and just looks a little bit better towards that last little part. I'm going to try to rank them, not just based on story. Cause like at the end of the day, we're also just talking about animations here. So I'm trying to factor that in. All right. We kind of know what happens. My boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I'm sure. laughs> All right, we knew it. It's an iconic pose. It's been referenced in a million other places. And then Nap is just chilling. He's like, yeah, I'm the strongest shit. All right. So I will say for this one, I'm going to go ahead and say C tier. Like I get that it's super iconic. It's super <laughs> like 
it's referenced in a lot of different different stuff outside of like Dragon Ball and stuff like that. But for the actual animation, it's like obviously super quick and it doesn't have too much detail. It's like he's just getting blown up <laughs> at the end of the day. In comparison to some of these other animations, he's just getting a little blown up and he's just going into kind of the pose. So I think the pose overall is kind of what sells it a little bit. And obviously that's the whole point is that they're trying to sell it based on just the pose. But if we're looking at it from like the actual, you know, comparison to some of the other different dramatic finishes, I think it's a little lackluster in terms of like animation and stuff like it. It's just almost too simplistic. You're going to make me fight some Cybermen again? Sorry to disappoint you, but it's not going to work this time. Okay, I don't think I've ever seen Yamcha win against Nappa, so I'd be kind of curious what happens in this one. Oh, he really does like a reverse Uno on him. Okay, that's kind of funny. And the fact that he's even in the pose. Guess I showed you I'm not playing around, didn't I? Okay, all right. That's a little better. Honestly, that one's a little better just because it's funny, right? Because it's kind of like an Uno reverse card on it. So, I mean, I'll probably say like B. I'm not really categorizing these in any particular order when it comes to these A's to C's to D's or whatever. Uh, I might do that with the S ones, but yeah, so I'd say that this one's a pretty good B one just because it's like a Uno reverse one. It's going to be kind of interesting to see like how these fights kind of work when, you know, technically they weren't supposed to win, but they win in the game. So this is a pretty nice one. Super simplistic, though. Obviously, he's just doing a Kamehameha onto a Cyberman, but it's the fact that he's like sending it back. He's like, no, you. <laughs> so it's pretty funny. It's a pretty good take on like the iconic scene and just making Napa <laughs> kind of do it. Oh, so we got Krillin's uh, scattershot thing. It's kind of interesting because I just started rewatching it and we're on the Namek saga, like halfway through. So it puts in a little bit different perception. Okay, so he actually doesn't hit Nappa there, but I mean, it is staying true to the story. Okay, so I'll say for that one, again, this is kind of more of a simplistic one. I'd almost say that's a C. I don't know where it's at, though. Oh, it's right here, I think. Uh, maybe a C, maybe a little bit of a B. I do like Scatter Kamehameha or Scatter Shot, whatever you want to call it. I think it's kind of cool. And the fact that he takes on so many people at once at this point in time, it's such a cool thing because whenever you're looking at the Saiyan Saga, like if you go back and rewatch it, the power scaling for that stuff and just to realize how like strong they actually were in terms of like power scaling at that point, it's just so cool because everybody was like fighting on their last life. So these like little bu bumps and like increase in power was like, it felt so significant back in the early days because like nobody was on God level. So it was kind of cool to see someone like Krillin just take on these guys when, you know, you just watch Yamcha get creamed by one of them. So, yeah, I'll say it's a B win. Um, we might just kind of rearrange it depending on what happens. Obviously, I don't have foresight to see which ones are going to be great or not. We'll have to kind of compare there. Okay, so we got Goku, I'm guessing, against Vegeta. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm going to be I'm going to be 100% honest. I'm going to be biased to this one if it does what I think it's going to do. It's been a long time since I've seen these. I don't even know if I've seen this one like in game. Anyway, I imagine I know what happens. Yes, dude. The most, I mean, this is like the beam battle of beam battles in the game, like the, the show, dude. And the Kyle kid. Send him to space, bro. Get him out of here. Does he go all the way out? Oh, I was hoping I was going to send him. Oh, it does. Oh my God. It did. Okay. Hold on. So, I mean, for this one, you're obviously going to um, talk about a little bit of the clothing stuff, but I'm going to try not to factor that in just because, like, I mean, it's really cool and iconic to see, like, Goku have his, like, you know, chest beating out and just, like, his muscles flex when he does Kaioken times four. But I think it's one of the most coolest scenes in early Dragon Ball Z because, like, at that point, nobody was really clashing too much with beams and stuff. So to see Vegeta and <laughs> Goku do this for, like, the, well... Technically the final, you know, hit, it was super dope. So I think they did it justice in this one. Um, I would say it's an A1. I'd say it's very high. We'll kind of see maybe S. Uh, I just really, I really don't want to put anything at S because I just know that there's some really good bangers in here, but I would say a high A. Uh, I am a little partial to it just because, like I said, I just got done watching um, some of the Saiyan stuff. So just to watch the power scaling, it just uh, it hits a little different when you're not referencing super, you're referencing like Z. <laughs> 
I'm guessing this is Frieza then. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> Oh, that's actually kind of a cool call out to Bardock. I like that. That was a nice call out for a special intro, but I'm not going to base the animation on that because that's a separate thing. <laughs> I'm such a sucker for them getting like squished up and stuff. I love that stuff. Oh, I also like this one too. I just like this uh, outro in general, just because I like Goku just being out of breath and like <laughs> so tired. I think it's such a cool, <laughs> okay, it's such a cool outro. So I will say that this one is pretty simplistic. This one might be hard to find. I think it's this one right here. I'm going to say that this one isn't like too much, bro. Like it, it's pretty cool. Like obviously the spirit bomb and all that, but you know, not too much happened. I do kind of like how he kind of crumpled up, but I would almost like to see like back in the old days where they're like, <laughs> like turned into little balls and stuff. That would have been a lot cooler. So they kind of toned it down a little bit to comparison to what I think it would should do in terms of being hit with a spirit ball <laughs> or spirit bomb, I guess at this point. So yeah, it's kind of a neat to see, but I don't think it was doing too much. Um, just overall with the animation and stuff. Oh, why did they hit me with that right off the rip? Oh, this is going to be an intro. Okay. Well, this would definitely be an S tier intro. <laughs> but I don't think I have the intros on there. God, I love this Goku, dude. He was such a cocky, like, God, he beat the shit out of people back in Z. The facial expressions, bro. You fall. Oh, he has a moron. When does he change it to moron? I thought it was always. Oh, yeah, he actually has the little. <laughs> I love that. Okay. All right. You know what? You know what? I'm going to give it extra points because I love that look right there. You can tell like kind of the the disappointment of having to go through with doing that. And I thought that was such a cool scene when it came to just the fight with him and Frieza because it's like you could tell that Goku didn't want to have to do that stuff like of course he got a lot cockier when he turned Super Saiyan he was like you know pretty much like stay down but you you can see the capture of like just how disappointed he is that he had to finish it off like that so I would say this is almost I don't know bro <laughs> I want to give it an S but I also just want to say an A so I think it's really well animated I like the fact that they actually use like the anime uh, in terms of like, you know, <laughs> Frieza doing the little crumped up thing. <laughs> I love that little small detail stuff. And I like the facial expressions. It's super nice. You know, it'll only take a second for me to destroy you. If this is uh, Trunks slicing up Frieza, I'm actually going to. Yes, yeah, sir, dude. This Someone on this backward planet has heard of me. Show me it, dude. Yes, dude. Send it to oblivion. Yeah, I love that shit. <laughs> I'm so biased to this, though. Trunks is such a badass. Isn't the only super There's another one right here. Oh, damn. Okay, I want to give it an S, but uh, I won't. I won't. I won't. I'll give it an A. There's a lot of A's, bro. I feel like I'm going to do a lot of gifts. But this is going to be a high. This is going to be like probably the highest day because I like the fact that it obviously it's hard to reference because like he, at this point he's Mecha Frieza, not, you know, Final Frieza. But I'm going to try not to kind of hold that against it because obviously there's just not that many forms in the game. But I think this is so cool because even whenever you reference it, like in real time in the anime, I've seen a couple of different like um, things where it's like looking from an outside point of view and how fast it actually happens between Trunks and Frieza. It's nuts. So obviously it's not going to show that because, you know, it's in the game. But I think it's really cool. Super simplistic though. So that's why I'm going to kind of give it an A instead of like an S it does what it's supposed to do. And it looks very cool. But <laughs> at the end of the day, it's not really flashy in terms of animation. It's just kind of getting the job done of showing you like what it's supposed to be doing. Sheesh. Real sheesh. Why do you say sheesh <laughs> Broly? Okay. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. This might be an S if it does what I think it's going to do. The menace look, dude. I love that's Kakarot, bro. That's not even Goku anymore. The Jeek, yeah. You're done here. 
Dramatic finish. Honestly, okay. Ah, man, I wanted to give that one a little bit higher, but I think that might be a B, to be honest. Um, I don't know where it is, though. I'm trying to see. I think it's this one. I like the I like the angle here. Uh, I like kind of the silhouette that it has with Broly and Goku, but I don't think it's really that big of a deal. <laughs> I mean, like, obviously, the cheek uh, slide is really cool, but, I mean, it's not really that catchy or, like, flashy, to be honest. Oh, wow. Well. I've already lost. Please protect the plants, the animals. Protect this world I love. You prattled on long enough, you miserable failure. So I think technically this is an intro. <laughs> but I lost a little bit. God, what a badass scene, dude. Gohan's him, bro. Send him to oblivion, bro. Now, this all depends on how they do Cell getting blown away. The animation for it. What a cocky dude. Does he do it with the one hand on this? Oh, he does. All right. All right. I love it. Damn, look how big that blast is. You ain't got nothing, dude. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes yes they did it all right they did it if he goes on super yeah okay i lost <laughs> this is an s tier it's an s tier bro i'm biased i'm already gonna call it say it in the comments bro i'm biased i don't know what to tell you that's gonna be an s tier for me um just because they pretty much hit every nail in the coffin there when it came to exactly how they're supposed to do it right I would have liked to see a little bit of the beam struggle a bit because obviously it wasn't just a one-sided thing at least like right away so i would have liked to see a little bit of that beam clash a little bit but it's kind of nice to see the whole sequence i'm not going to count the intro because i think that was part of like the actual introduction between the two characters not part of the actual sequence that happens with the dramatic finish i'll just kind of count when he's actually you know doing the thing with goku and stuff like that so using the one arm and just having the actual i love how they do that dude like having cell make that funny face and to get destroyed like that but I also like the fact that they added like kind of the cell just looking at the combat behind just realizing how screwed he is. He's just like, <laughs> you can see the actual fear on the man's face. So I think that's just an S tier just because they got all the animations, right? Plus going, you know, on Super Saiyan is such a cool thing because it's like it literally took everything out of him to do it. And then he had to power down. So I think they did a lot of the details really well and just the animation. But the only thing I would have liked to see is a little bit more of the clash. Ooh, I kind of want to see this one. I don't think I've ever seen this one. So Ultimate Gohan, Mr. Gohan, whatever the hell you want to call him. I always call him Ultimate. I'm going to bathe in your blood. <laughs> oh, this might be a family come at me, huh? This one's pretty dope too, then. Yeah, I love my boy. Go to him. It's not enough. It's not all, you've got. Don't give up now. <laughs> yeah, all right, bro. The sun, family, Kamehameha, bro. This one's dope as hell, too. I got to see what happens with Broly. Okay, so we had a little bit of a clash. Not too much. Oh, my God. It sent him to the moon. Oh, wait. It sent him. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm biased again. <laughs> yeah, the fist bump in the end. All right. Another S tier. I mean, look, man, it, it, some people are going to disagree and some people are going to agree. Actually, I just realized they have some of the intros in here. Um, let me put this one up here. I think it's an S. I think the intro is an S as well. I think this is Android 16's intro. This might not be. This might be something to do with him. So hold on. Let me see. Uh, I'll kind of leave it there just in case. So I think that's an S tier, man. I don't know. I think the animation is really nice. I think the fact that they sent him around to the sun and he gets wiped out into the sun and then Goku does a fist bump and stuff like that. I mean, I'm kind of a kind of a sucker for like the whole like there's not enough power and then they add like you know goku to it or something like that or having goten kind of step in is so cool <laughs> especially because he's actually not even a playable character in the game <laughs> so he's just here they modeled his ass up just to put him in here i guess technically he's in the goten thing as well so he's modeled there as well i think they do the fusion dance before that in an intro i'm not i can't remember to be honest does he go super saiyan 3 here Okay, we got a spirit bomb. Stupid spirit bomb. 
And a Super Saiyan, right? I hope you get wished back as a good person. <laughs> See ya. Okay, I mean, I like. Oh. Yeah, I like where he goes on Super Saiyan. I mean, I like that one, but I think it's going to be a B, to be honest. I mean, it's just the fact, uh, unfortunately, the spirit bomb is just kind of like it's a little bit so simplistic, you know, like obviously it's so iconic when it comes to like how they use it and stuff like that. But there's not really too much going on with it. And they didn't really show too much of like Boo getting disintegrated. It's just kind of which I, I actually can't remember. It's been a long time since I watched the Boo Saga. That might actually just happen in the Boo Saga. <laughs> but I do think it's pretty brief and it's just one of those things where not quite as you know interesting as some of these other ones that we've been watching so i'm just gonna kind of leave it there again we might restructure it a little bit but now we got some feature why is <laughs> why is vegeta bluffing like that yes who's he fighting Broly, right oh Jonemba. oh this is interesting that they use dps gogeta for this I actually kind of forgot Janimbo was in the game. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, I kind of like that he switched. That's kind of cool, bro. So I was just about to say, hopefully he doesn't do it in blue. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Yep. Yep. Yeah, all right, man. That's so badass. Okay, let me see the outro though. <laughs> yeah, I'm biased, bro. I don't know. <laughs> Say what you will, dude. This is a uh, this is super dope. I, I might restructure this a little bit up top when we get to it, but. I think this is uh, this is so cool because I was kind of worried that they were going to go SS blue and I was like, oh, please don't do that. That's going to ruin the whole thing. But the fact that he deformed and then he went back up to S uh, Super Saiyan is incredible. And the fact that they had like some of the different animations and stuff like that looked really good. I like the facial expressions and I like how he did the old cocky like, you know, <laughs> take the punch because he knew he's going to die type of thing. Yeah, that's an S tier for me. I mean, I'm not probably going to have any bad ones, to be honest. Because the game just looks phenomenal. I mean, I'll call it what it is. <laughs> I'm probably not going to have any bad ones. C might be the lowest anything ever gets. Kind of interested. Does he go Goku? Or does he go uh, God? Oh, my God. Okay. 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 It's a crime that this shit wasn't in the game. If he goes God. Oh, I didn't show it. Okay. What a fascinating fellow. But I like that ambience. Like I like that little silhouette thing. That's so cool. <laughs> All right. I mean, I would say that this one's probably going to be a B to be honest. I mean, it's really nice. Well, I'd actually say it's an A just because I like how it showed everybody kind of like, um, you know, Goku, like trying to get him to go. I was kind of hoping I would see a little bit more of um, you know, after the fact when he got hit with the ball, but that's okay. Uh, I'm not going to structure these in any sort of way, but I kind of like that, you know, I had that little touching piece where Bill Beerus is like grabs him. He's like, all right, you're not too bad of a dude. And the silhouette, I can't get over the silhouette. I like the, the lighting in this game. It looks really great when it's kind of like a skyline with the, the space in the background. It looks really good. So we got Vegito, everybody's favorite fusion in the game, right? <laughs> I mean, it looks really good, obviously. Wait, is this a Masu? Oh my God, the goofy ass face looking. <laughs> so I think some of the intros are actually in the game or in the tier list thing. I'm starting to see them. That's exactly why I'm also. Justice given forth. I am the world, the most noble, splendid, immortal, and supremely powerful God. Gotcha! <laughs> He's like, shut the hell up. <laughs> okay. 
final coming me hot. Let's go, dude. Yeah, and he wiped him the hell out. Come on, get serious already. I think he killed him, bro. <laughs> All right, that might be an S too. That one was super dope, though. I don't know. That might be a high, uh, high A, to be honest. I do like the facial expressions, though. See, that's what kind of gets me in these ones. I feel like whenever it comes to like the facial expressions, you can kind of tell whenever they get into like. The later DLC characters that they obviously put a lot of time into the animations between them. So I'm going to put this one here just for a high A. I might switch it up and put it on an S, but I'm kind of holding S to a couple of different things. Oh, I want to see this. Okay. This is very interesting because this is probably Trunks versus Amasu. Does he have rage for him? Because this might be totally dope. They have a special intro as well. Guys, this is such a cool. I don't care what people say about this form, dude. I thought it was dope as hell that he absorbed a spirit bomb into his sword. Oh, they actually have a clash battle? Okay. Okay, facial expressions. We like that. Bro sent him to the other world. <laughs> All right, so the only thing I'm going to knock this one down a little bit, I'm going to keep it at an A, and that's because he didn't go rage, bro. Like, he just got the sword. <laughs> like, he's supposed to be he's supposed to be pissed. <laughs> he's supposed to have, like, the god aura and stuff like that. They didn't give it to him. So I'm going to say this is an A, obviously a little bit higher than what he's got going on, but I think if they would have given him the whole Shabil, I think that would have been way better. I do like how they had that little part where they're actually, like, kind of clashing. I do think that that's kind of cool. This kind of sets the pacing, especially kind of like a resistance to the fight. But I would have liked to see him, like, rage out. <laughs> I think that would have added so much to that. Hope you're ready. I'm not gonna pull any punches. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was wondering who he's gonna go against. I'm like, well, we probably already passed the freezer thing. Got this crazy psycho. Why did she say it like that? Yeah, if this happens what i think happens then uh it's probably gonna be an s tier to be honest i love this shit out of super i'm just gonna tell you that right now i think it's so cool you can tell they went really hard on like some of these like dlcs though man this shit's so cool yep <laughs> yep i already know i don't care what anybody says him doing this in the tournament power is one of the most badass scenes in the tournament power up, uh, he literally surfed her attack with a comma MA on, smashed her straight to the face with it. Yeah, that's badass. It's an S tier. <laughs> Guess that's the best I can do right now. And the fact that they actually went into costume and into his form, which he technically doesn't have this form, I don't think, right? So I would say this is definitely S tier. And I'd almost say this is kind of maybe even high S tier. We'll kind of reshuffle maybe. I kind of haven't decided whether I want to reshuffle these ones, but so far, I think that's the best one that we've saw as all the kind of key moments that I was kind of wanting to touch on. And it also changes like his get up and the way he looks as well as just, I don't know. It's just, just super cool. <laughs> I don't know if it wins against Gohan though. I kind of, I'm trying not to be nostalgic in terms of like looking at this stuff. I am trying to kind of look at it as also animations and stuff like that. So I'm trying not to be too biased, but I'm not going to lie. I'm, <laughs> I'm a human. I'm biased, bro. <laughs> If there's a super cool moment in the anime and they do it really well in this, I'm going to give it a higher rating. I'll just be 100% honest. I am curious. Why seek even greater power? So I seen Frieza. Do they actually do what I think they do here? Oh my God, they do it. Frieza, don't order me around. Nah, throw me. This is so badass too. I don't care what you think about <laughs> Turn him into power. This is such a badass scene. Yes. Oh my God. They sent him. This is trust. The power of universe seven. Yeah. Oh my God. The facial expressions. I'm sold, dude. Man, you're tough, Jiren. <laughs> Freezes the smug ass look. Okay. 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 But I will win next time we meet Goku. I like how they have that nice little outro. 
Um, honestly, I would say that this is going to be uh, maybe on the bottom side of S. It might be a little bit above. Man, I don't think so, though. To be honest, this might be down here. This might be like maybe the best A I got so far. I just don't think it's better than Gogeta versus Janemba. I mean, I might think that it might be better than the Sun Kamehameha situation. So I'd maybe go like this for right now. But I don't think that it's any better than, you know, in terms of everything else. Like, obviously, it has the iconic Goku and Frieza type of thing. But that was only kind of one frame. I do like the fact that they kind of went through the Earth, though. So that's kind of interesting as well. So I'm just going to kind of keep it here. These two right here are kind of like mid S. Like, these might be like bottom rung S's. We'll kind of see here in a second. Uh, we're pretty close to being done with this. So maybe I'll restructure it a little bit. I'm guessing this is Gogeta Broly, right? This might be the highest, though. I mean, I got to say, when I watch the movie on this, this is one of the coolest ass scenes I've seen in a long ass time in animation. So if they can do it justice in this game. Yeah, it might be sold. Plus, Broly looks so good. DPS Broly looks a fantastic in fighters. Okay, so that's just the intro. So here. Yeah, it changes and every. Oh my god, they got the whole thing going on. A lot of details so far. Just the camera angles, bro. This is nuts. I kind of figured this one was going to be one of the best animated ones just because it certainly was one of the better animated things in the movies, obviously. It's not even over, bro. It's a lot. Oh my god, yeah, okay. <laughs> they did the eye thing. Yeah, it's just all the different. Oh, they got Shinron and everything in there. I mean, that was just a full fledged out. <laughs> that was a full fledged out attack thing, dude. I mean, there's just no way that's not the best one, right? I mean, there's just no way that's not the best one thus far. I mean, it has literally everything. It has all the details that you could think of, plus all the different animations and stuff like that. They definitely did it justice in terms of um, <laughs> the movie, bro. That was so good. I was I was kind of expecting it, but we'll see. We have, uh, I think, three more, maybe? Because I think we even have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Who's he fighting here? Oh, they did a. Oh, they did this. I didn't know they did this. Oh, this might be interesting as hell. Hold on. I don't think I don't think I've ever seen this. I didn't even know they did this. This is kind of a cool what if. Okay, this is beautifully animated as well. <laughs> it's ripping like fabric in time. Oh, that's what I wanted to see with the Broly versus Gogeta one. Just realized. Of course you lost. I'm a Super Saiyan with the power of a Super <clears throat> Saiyan God. All right, that one was really cool. Obviously, like it's one of those things where you just always kind of wondered when you're like younger. Not necessarily with Super Saiyan Blue, but having fusions fighting each other was always kind of a huge thing. Even like Vegeta or Vegeta versus Gogeta. I wouldn't say it was like spectacular in any means, though. I mean, honestly, it wasn't like huge. It was just like two Kamehamehas going clashing against each other and kind of ripping fabric, but <laughs> which seems like it'd be kind of nuts. But at this point in time, I don't think it's like too crazy. I would say that maybe he's like kind of right here. I'm not really ranking the A ones. I'm just kind of putting the ones that I think are the best kind of higher, which I guess is technically ranking those, but I'm not like the first one isn't the best second, the second best or whatever. It's just kind of like the more I like them, the higher they go up in the A. I am neither Goku nor Vegeta. So I wonder, is this just going to be reverse though? Because I imagine it's just reverse. So if it is, then I don't know. This might not be that great. Do 
Oh, it's definitely kind of just the reverse. <laughs> Not bad. I do like the animation of like the zooms and, uh, and stuff. Those look, look really good. Yeah, so okay, it's just pretty much that, but the reverse. And I'm guessing it's just going to be a regular Goku and Vegeta on the floor, right? I do like how it like kind of pushes the sun a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I feel like whenever you rank these two, it's definitely based on <laughs> which one you like better, right? <laughs> which form do you like better? So they do have two intros here. So this is going to be the intro for the Super Saiyan Gohan. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it in S, honestly, bro. It's one of the most iconic transformations and one of the biggest scenes I've ever seen. So I'm probably going to put it like right here. And this one, I think, is when he turns Super Saiyan against Frieza, which I would also say is almost equally, if not more, uh, iconic. So let's see. Let's see if we can't restructure this one. So I would say that this Broly one is probably the best animated one, followed by UI Goku. So these could be kind of a toss up because obviously I feel like they work together. So I'm just going to go ahead and say that it's probably like this for me and then into this. And then that's going to be kind of how it's structured. So talking about the A's ones, I don't know if there's any one particular that I want to move up to S. I think we have a nice little fluffed out thing, but I will say that I'll probably move some of these more down to maybe like a, you know, maybe like Krillin down to C. I think it's just kind of rewatching some of these makes me realize that some of these other ones are a little lackluster, right? So I'm not trying to put it in terms of like, you know, Krillin's power scaling or anything like that. I'm just trying to talk about like animations and stuff. So, I think overall, this isn't really a bad one. I mean, we have a lot of S's, honestly. I'd probably knock down a couple of them just because it seems like we have a lot of S's and A's. But, you know, honestly, I just don't feel like there's too many bad supers, man. I feel like they just did really well with this game, and they just had a lot of cool iconic scenes. You can obviously tell that they put a bit more love and animation into the DLCs, mainly because I'm guessing they were trying to, like, kind of finish it off. They weren't going to plan on putting anything else in the game, so... These got a lot more love than some of the early things. So it's kind of hard to say uh, some of these different structures and stuff like that as they kind of progress. But like the trunks one, I was kind of disappointed with because I'd like to see rage trunks. That would have been super dope. And then, you know, even the the Goku and Frieza one is kind of like, I don't know. It would have been kind of cool to see 17 just <laughs> just in there. You know, that would have been kind of dope. But yeah, uh, other than that, I think this is a pretty good one. I think Gogeta and Janemba was also pretty cool. I mean, I would kind of say that maybe the Sun Goku one might actually be like this. The more I think about it, maybe it's like this. This is kind of a high A for the Broly and um, Ultimate Gohan type of thing. And then maybe the freezing uh, Goku can kind of go up here. This maybe makes me feel a little bit better. And then maybe even this. If I'm if I'm trying to rank this a little bit better, uh, I'll put this one in front. And this is kind of the way that it'll work. I think this is a pretty good little list. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Obviously, it's just my opinion. So, you know, try to be nice. <laughs> if it doesn't fit your opinion and stuff like that, totally makes sense. We all have different opinions. But anyway, I'm going to call it there. Have a good rest of your night, guys. Peace.